everyone, welcome back to Pencils and Prairies. Today I'm gonna do a really quick video on something that has really helped me figure out my children and how they learn math. So let's do it. So I was looking for a really affordable math curriculum for my children. And we started formal educating around the time when they are four. And I'm on my, um, I now have a second child that I'm teaching math to and then I have a baby. So after looking around, there are some great programs out there that are, you know, there's Math UC, there's Singapore Math, there's Abeka Math. When you're thinking about teaching math and you're looking at all the different curriculums and there are tons of great ones out there. There are two things you have to consider. Is it mastery or is it spiral? So mastery math is when you learn all the addition and once you master that, you move on. So curriculums that would do this would include like Saxon math, for example. And that's where in your classical model, you may get a lot of repetition. So you're just drill, drill, drill. And I think that's really beneficial for someone such as myself who really struggled with math. And so I needed that constant repetition before I moved on to a new, um, you know, whether it was subtraction or just a new idea in math. The second way that a curriculum may teach is called spiral. Spiral math is when you learn a new concept and then in the next chapter or however they do it, they add a little bit more of a new concept. So you may do addition in chapter one and in chapter two, you do all addition, but then it adds a little bit, of, it introduces uh, subtraction. And then you've got one, two, uh, chapter two would have a little bit of addition, a little bit of subtraction, and then it would introduce another thing. So spiral, you're kind of, as you go around, you're collecting more things. What I like to use is spectrum math. And I'm going to talk to you about some of the reasons why I love spectrum math. So one of the reasons why I love spectrum is that it is super affordable. Um, this book, which is their kindergarten math is only $11.99. Um, they're, and they've got all, they've got it for every single grade. They've got spectrum math, spectrum language arts. It is not a Christian curriculum. And for me, that's okay in the beginning stages, you know, for math, because you can have, you know, Sarah had two Bibles and then she took away one Bible. You, you know, you could put Christian things in there, but I choose not to be, um, as, aggressive with that, at least in the math department, that everything has to be Christian. Um, I am just learning at this stage when I start homeschooling math, I'm trying to figure out, do they need mastery style or spectrum style? And so this is an affordable option with the spectrum um, math, because what it does is I highly suggest going this is an awesome curriculum because it starts off with spiral and so it helps you understand. The thing I love about the Spectrum Math curriculum is that I get to introduce topics to my children and I figure out how quickly they're retaining them. For example, for my oldest, we went through the Spectrum Math and he loves math. He's taking to it really well. And so I knew going on to first grade math, it gave me an idea for what curriculum to use. Now with my daughter, we have just started Spectrum Math and I think she's a little bit more, uh... now for my daughter, we're using Spectrum Math and I think she's a little bit more like myself and that it's gonna take her a little bit longer to understand things. So after we do this Spectrum Math book, unless I decide to, um, with the beauty of homeschooling, change it up right away, uh, I will probably go more of a mastery approach with math. Whereas with my son, we can do the spiral approach because he can uh, retain it and understand it more quickly. The other thing that I really love about the Spectrum Math is that it is very colorful without being overwhelming. I enjoy that there are black and white pictures and some color. It's not obnoxious. It's not overly wordy. It doesn't um, have too many frills. I wanted something with some color that was easy to mentally digest because sometimes you look at all these curriculums and you can go one way where it's super artistic and super beautiful but it doesn't have a lot of meat or you can go simple black and white and you're just going to be bored out of your brain. So I love the layout. I love um, 
how they introduce new concepts. I will say that with Spectrum, it does move a little fast. And so with my daughter, I'm finding that we will go forward in a chapter and then I'll save some things for later, which is completely fine because I do that with my son too. The beauty of homeschooling is you can adjust as you want. So Spectrum also has a lot of great materials, out, like I said, outside of math. They've got their language, they've got um, a few different things. As far as I am concerned, I would strictly recommend it for math because I think it's a great program. It's easy to read, it's easy to use. The layout is awesome and it's super affordable. When it comes to language, I will talk about a curriculum that I have found to absolutely fall in love with. But if you're looking for Spectrum, you can find it at your local teacher supply store or Barnes and Noble, which everyone has a Barnes and Noble and the price is super affordable. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for more where I go over some curriculums that we absolutely love and some that we're not so fond of. But as always, I hope that I have encouraged you. And if you're at all scared about homeschooling, you can do it. And I hope I can help. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.